practicing chemical equation video number seven. I have completed the first three steps in pen. I have written the word equation, the chemical equation, and written out the chemical symbols for the atoms that react in the reaction on the reactants and products side of the equation. I now need to count the number of atoms of each element that react on the reactants and products side in pen by tallying. So there are two carbon atoms, six hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms on the reactant side and one carbon atom, two hydrogen atoms and one, two, three oxygen atoms on the product side. Now I need to put my black pen down and ask the question, is it balanced? And the answer is no. I need to increase the number of carbon atoms by one. So I need two in total. So I'll put a two in front of the carbon dioxide molecule and retally. One, two carbon atoms. Two times two, four, five oxygen atoms and ask, is it balanced? The answer is still no. There are six hydrogen atoms on the reactant side and only two on the product side. So if I put a three in front of the water vapor molecule, I can increase the number of hydrogen atoms to six because three times two is six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I ask the question again, is it balanced? The answer is no, because although the amount of carbon and hydrogen atoms are the same on either side of the equation, I have got five oxygen atoms on the product side and only two on the reactant side, I still actually, if I check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I need to add two more oxygen atoms to that equation. Now, it's still not balanced because I have got two oxygen atoms on the reactant side and seven on the product side. What I would recommend that you do to start off with is put a number with a fraction in front of the substance that has the atoms that you need to increase in number. So if there's seven, to get seven oxygen atoms on the reactant side, if I put a three and a half, which means that we've now got three and a half times two, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven oxygen atoms on the reactant side. However, you can't have three and a half oxygen molecules. So I would need to double that to seven to get an even number. But if I double that, I need to double the two, double the three. And imaginary, imagine that there is an imaginary one in front of the ethane molecule. Well, I need to double that. So I need to put two C2H6 plus 7O2 changes into 4CO2 plus 6H2O. So if you have got an odd number of atoms on one side of the equation, put a, f an, a whole number in a fraction in front of the substance that you need to increase the number of atoms in, and then double that number and double all of the other numbers. Remember, if there's no number in front of one of the substances, it's like an imaginary one, so double that as well to two. And that's how you balance that kind of equation.